What's up guys, Justin here with the Rhino Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to use Grasshopper in order to create a simple stair inside a Rhino. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so remember that when we do something like this, we're basically mathematically trying to repeat a shape in a certain direction multiple different times. And so what we wanna do is we wanna set this up, A, to create a rectangle and extrude it, and then move it in a certain direction. Right, so now that we know that, what we can do is we can start adding things in Grasshopper. And so to start off, we're just gonna double click in here. We're just gonna add a rectangle right here. So notice what that does is that gives us a plane inside of our window over here. And so now what we need to do is we need to dictate the size of the rectangle. And so we can do that by adding any number of uh, value items in here, probably the number slider is gonna be the best. So I'm just gonna click in here and add a number slider. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drag this into the X size. And notice how if we drag this up and down, this is moving the X value in here. And then we also wanna create another one. We wanna plug that into the Y size. And so once we do that, notice what that's gonna do is that's going to allow us to create a rectangle over here. And so let's go ahead and let's double click into these sliders right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my max range to maybe something more like 12. So I'm gonna set this right here and click on okay. That's gonna allow me to make this bigger or smaller. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the same thing over here just for simplicity's sake right here. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow us to generate a rectangle inside of our window right here. And just for this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lock these to just integer values just by selecting the in right here. So, and this is gonna be my width, so I'm actually gonna give it a little bit wider. Like, so I'm gonna say this can have a maximum width of something like, we'll call it 60 for right now. So that allows us to make this wider if we decide that we wanna do that. But basically what we've done is we've created a rectangle inside of Rhino. Well, now we need to take that rectangle and we need to extrude it to a certain thickness. And so before we do that, we need to add a surface to this object because there's nothing in here right now. And so what we wanna do is we wanna take the boundary of this object and create a surface from it. So we're just gonna type in boundary and look for boundary surfaces right here. That's gonna allow us to generate a rectangle from these edges. All right, so now this has a face in here where it didn't before. So um, what we wanna do now is we wanna take that surface and we wanna extrude it, right? So we're gonna add an extrude node right here. And we're just gonna drag the surface into our base. And so notice how the first thing this asks for is a Z direction. So we're just gonna double click in here and look for a unit Z. That's gonna allow us to set our unit vector right here. And so when we do that, notice what that's doing is that's extruding this upward, creating a 3D shape. All right, and so what we want is we want some control over the depth of this object. So we're just gonna add another number slider in here. We're just gonna bring this number slider in here. I'm gonna take this and set it to this value right here. And we're gonna say that it has a max thickness of 12 inches. So we're gonna type in a value of 12. We're just gonna drag that into our factor. And so what that's gonna allow us to do is that's going to allow us to set the thickness in here based on um, the thickness that we want this rise to be. And let's go back and make sure that we've got these to the size that we want. So in this case, right, I want this to have a value of 48 inches wide. I want it to have a value of 12 inches deep right now. So four feet wide, 12 inches deep. Then we can say that this is maybe gonna be three inches thick, something like that. All right, so now we have our object extruded to 3D, but now we need to start making some copies of it. And so the way that we can do that is we're gonna start by adding a move tool right here, or a move node. And we're just gonna drag our extrusion in here. Well, notice what that's doing is that's moving this upward. Well, we wanna give it a little bit more control. So we basically need to add a move node that moves it up and one that moves it over. And so we wanna start by moving this over, right? So we wanna start by adding a Y or a unit Y vector. So we're just gonna drag that in here. Well, notice how when we do this, this gets moved over, but it only gets moved over a little bit. Right, And the reason it only gets moved over a little bit is because we haven't really told it how far to move it over. Well, we're just gonna set this up where it moves over basically the length of the depth of our step, right? So we're just gonna drag this over here. So we're gonna take our Y size value, drag that into our factor right here. And so the only problem with this is this is only doing this one time. Well, we want this to happen multiple times. Right? So instead of dragging that factor in here, we wanna start by adding a series. 
So the series is gonna tell this to repeat a certain number of times. So notice how when I drag this series in here, this is now repeating by a count value. And this starts off with having the count value set to 10. But let's go ahead and let's copy and paste our number slider over here and just drag this into our account. So that is going to allow us to dictate how many copies are created in that direction. So now we can set how many stairs are in here. But we also need to set how big the step is, which we can do by dragging our stair tread depth value into the step right here. So now what that's doing is that's allowing us to set a certain number of steps in here based on this slider. So now this is moving this over in a series using this node right here. Well, we just wanna do this again, but this time we wanna move this up. And so I'm gonna add another move node over here. Or we're gonna take the geometry and plug it into our geometry. All right, and so remember that this one, what it's doing is we're giving it a Z vector. So we just wanna double click in here and add a unit Z, drag that into our motion. And so this is now move this up once, but we wanna do the same thing we did over here where we add a series. So I'm gonna add a series in here. We're gonna plug the series into our factor. And notice what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow us to set the um, height, number of steps that are in here. And so what we wanna do is we want this to have the same number of steps as our step counter over here. So we're just gonna plug the count into this value. But then I'm actually gonna set my own value in here for the actual rise between my stairs. So I'm just gonna add a number slider in here. I'm gonna drag this into our steps. And I'm gonna take this number slider, I'm gonna edit it. And we'll give this a max value of 12 inches because it's not gonna go up any more than that. But that slider is gonna allow us to dictate the rise of our steps. So now what we've got is we've got sliders that allow us to set the width of our stairs right here, as well as the depth of our stairs and the thickness of our stairs like this. So if I wanted to, I could align these, right? So I could set this to have a thickness of 12 inches and I could set this to have a thickness of 12 inches. Now that's obviously gonna to step too high, but you can see how that's moving those steps up like this. You could also set it where these have a depth of like six inches. And this has a depth of like six inches, just like this, and notice how that's stepping that up. Now, one thing we do wanna do is we wanna come in here and right click on this node. We wanna turn preview off because we really only wanna see the stair that's in here like this. But then now, if you wanted to, you could come in here and you could rename these. So for example, I'm gonna call this stair width. I'm gonna call this tread depth. I'll call this one tread thickness. And so then you can see what all of these do because they're gonna be labeled in here and it's probably best to just kind of put them all in a line like this. So this one is gonna be number of steps and this one is going to be riser height like this. And so basically we've created a simple stair that's gonna to be totally adjustable and usable um, inside a grasshopper. And you can use this to customize the size, height of your stair, other things like that. All right, so I'm gonna make these grasshopper files available for download. You can go check them out at the rhinoessentials.com slash grasshopper. So I'll make those all available for download. So as we continue here, I'll try to make the files as available as possible so that you can download them and follow along if you want to. But leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.